Hello there everybody, my name is Coaster Child Doncaster born, but built for theme park news and welcome to a theme park newsroom update where today we're going to be talking about some news from Europa Park in Roost, Germany and we're going to be taking a look at an official opening date that has been confirmed for their refurbished Pirates in Batavia Dart Ride set to open for the 2020 season. Europa Park are set to relaunch their Pirates in Batavia Dart Ride after it was destroyed in a fire back in July 2019. Completely refreshed and stuck to the original as most as possible, Europa Park are ready to relaunch this attraction at the end of July. So in this video we're going to be talking about all the details including the specific date, the statement on the website and also talk to you guys about the history of the ride and also the history of the fire and how it's impacted Europa Park. So before we get started, please like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share with your friends, your family and on social media. And make sure you keep following our other series, Child Chats, where we interview the best and brightest of the industry. And also make sure you keep getting in your shout outs, your video suggestions and also your questions. Use the hashtag question before or after your question. And these questions are very, very helpful for our subscriber Q&A, our next question and answer session, when we celebrate our next milestone stone 2000 subscribers when we hit that milestone and for now guys let's get into another theme park newsroom update so according to europa parks website pirates in batavia is set to be launched or relaunched in 2020 and we now have an official date for the dart rides relaunch the statement from europa park resorts website reads as follows attention all land lovers Pirates are in sight. On the 28th of July 2020, the time has finally come. The Pirates in Batavia will reopen their doors. The festive opening will take place in form of a press conference with invited guests. From late afternoon, the attraction will be open from the first guests. From July 29th, the Pirates are looking forward to welcoming many guests daily. Are you ready for a new adventure? Accompanied Bartholomew van Robbermond on his search for the mystical dagger of Batavia, the Fire Tiger. Legend has it that whoever owns the dagger of Batavia is invulnerable. No wonder then that not only van Robbermond is after the dagger. Prepare yourself for an exciting underground boat ride experience which closely resembles its original design from 1987. Prepare yourself for an exciting underground boat ride experience which closely resembles the original design from 1987. For 8 minutes you will be taken through the exotic harbour city of Batavia outlandish sounds and unforgettable sceneries with 125 figures will surely take your breath away. In case some of the figures seem familiar to you, no wonder. Amongst the many new pirates, monkeys, crocodiles, snakes and more that were made with modern technology, you will also find figures of the original attraction. And by the way, in the treasure chamber in the German themed area, you can already get a first look at the model of the new attraction. Would you like to experience some more adventure with Bartholomew Van Robberbond? No problem. In autumn, the first volume of the new novel series on the Adventure Club of Europe will be published by Copenrath. It will tell you all about Van Robermond's exciting adventures on the Seven Seas. So that was an impressive statement from Europa Park. Now, obviously you guys are going to want a bit of history on this ride, right? Well, this had the theme of a pirate raid on Jakarta, manufactured by Mack Rides and originally opened in the Netherlands theme park section in 1987, with the original closing date being the 28th of May 2018. The fire took place in 28th of May 2018, burning to the ground in a colossal fire that destroyed the main themed area of the Scandinavia portion of the park. The cause of the fire was unknown, but a fireball erupted in a storage hall and spread towards the ride building, resulting in high flames and a smoke plume stretching for miles. At first, the area was evacuated, but this was later revised to include the whole park. The park reopened on Sunday, albeit with the Scandinavia and Norwegian section of the park closed. Two attractions, the Fjord Rafting and the Schungel Flofart, remained closed as firefighters had used water from those attractions to battle the fire. So very, very good statements from Europe Park out there and their history, of course, of Pirates in Batavia. Now there is some great key points to pick out from that statement. The fact we finally have an opening date is absolutely fantastic to hear. And the fact that 28th of July, 
2020 will be the first sort of soft opening with the invited guests is a great statement to hear. And then from the 29th of July onwards, all the guests that come to Europa Park that were uninvited to the previous day's invite will be able to check out this ride for themselves. Now, like the ride mentioned, it's going to be very, very close to the original. However, new modern technologies will introduce new animatronic figures and freshen the ride's look up along with its full refurbishment. Now, of course, the part released images inside the actual space, the dark ride space, and there was actually photos of the boats being on the water for the very, very first time. Michael Mack officially released this on his Twitter. I'm going to put those images on your screen right now. So from these images, you can see the jungle-like scenario with the red and blue lighting popping up around the back to give you guys a real multicolor lighting effect and to give you guys a multi-sensory experience of riding through the jungle in the trough which Michael Mack seems to be standing in. Also, the photo of the boats officially being on the water makes it look like the ride is absolutely prepared for opening on the 28th of July 2020. All the scenery that surrounds the boat on the water gives us precious signs that this attraction will be a groundbreaking refurbishment of a classic Mac Dart ride. Other pictures include this wall, this medieval wall that surrounds the area and it becomes a, a sight to see. It becomes a colossal sight to see. And I think this is just one pure example, one tiny detail of exceptional theming done by Euro Park. We also have images of this piece of fencing where it, the blue patterns on the walls give us a bit of a taste of the new storyline and also it gives us a taste of one of the buildings spotted around the right. Finally then, we have some woodward that seems to be hung up which is like a tree shaped form which again shows off the eccentric detail and the theming done by Europa Park. And finally, we've got these bamboo window barriers and banners which says to us another teaser about one of the buildings that surrounds the attraction. So just from those pictures alone, the theming on this looks absolutely incredible. And I think that this is going to be an incredible attraction. I've said this before, this is an incredible attraction. Um, and it's so... It, and we've covered videos on this before. And in fact, to celebrate the parks uh, announcing the opening of this ride on the 28th of July... We've set up a separate playlist for all the Pirates in Batavia videos that we've done on this channel. So make sure you go and follow that playlist. I've linked it at the end of the video, as per usual, on the end screen. Uh, along with the Theme Park Newsroom playlist and, of course, the best video for viewer uh, selection. Along with the channel in the middle, where you can subscribe. Um, but seeing this... Uh, Pirates in Batavia ride come together and of course seeing the fact that it's very reminiscent of the original but mixing all that new modern technology I think the park have done this ride justice and I think that they've done this attraction this refurbished attraction justice now obviously with the other two attractions the water attractions they were reopened um, you know weeks down the line after the fire uh, after using up the water and filling it back in of course obviously if 2019 fjord rafting got this uh new tunnel uh this new themed tunnel which looks fantastic so it was a way of again you know refurbishing the ride uh and of course don't forget in 2019 uh last year we got this new uh snorri tours dart ride uh, as part of the basement of scandinavian area uh, and of course this refurbished scandinavia area it looked brilliant and of course they put this new dart ride the snorri tours into the new basement um so it was a beautiful new dart ride for europe park and of course that's open now uh or when the park reopens of course uh, but of course that opened in 2019 the new dart ride so i think like i said this has been like a two-year project ever since that fire um and to see Scandinavia done last year and all the theming and the detail that went into it, it just gave me great signs for Pirates in Batavia. And then when we heard more details and more things being announced about it, and then now today with the news that it's going to be opening to select to guests on the 28th of July, and then the rest of you can experience it on the 29th of July. I really wish I was invited to the 28th of July. I wish I could do international travel and get over there to Germany and do this. But unfortunately, with COVID-19, it's impossible. However... Uh, those of you, if there's any of you out there that are invited and do watch the channel, my Instagram link's in the description down below if you want to send any footage from the 28th of July opening. 
Um, and if the park's watching this, then I would love for you. To, I'd love. I'd love to use the footage that you've got for opening day uh, as well, because I want to try and cover the opening day from the comfort of my own home, uh, since I can't get out there to Germany and do it myself. So um, obviously, Europa Park's a dream park for me. In the f next few years, I'd love to do this park. Um, it's got some fantastic attractions: Voden Timber Coaster, uh, which is a GCI wooden coaster. Blue Fire Mega Coaster, which is your Mac launch. Obviously, in the next few years, we're expecting the next major roller coaster to come to the park, set to be uh, in the old Traumatica location behind the Grease themed section. Of course, from all the talk, it's set to be potentially a um, kind of a mix, I think, between Dark Ride and Time Traveler, which is an extreme spinning coaster at Silver Dollar City. That's the, the rumor talk at the minute. Obviously, nothing's been officially confirmed about the new coaster, but um, that's where me and I know a lot of people in the community seem to be going in the direction of like an extreme spinner uh, with some s some s potential switch track elements and some dart ride elements and some uh, you know SFX coaster type elements uh, so I think we've got a r and of course it's going to be part of a new area so I think it's going to be a really big project that'll be the next big project for Europa Park now that Pirates in Batavia is going to open uh, at the end of July this year uh, you know the next major roller coaster is the next big project to look for obviously there's rumours of a Euro Mia refurbishment of course after the Euro Sat Can Can Coaster refurbishment uh, so maybe Euro Mia is next in line to get a refurbishment so maybe that's the next sort of mid project before in between Pirates in Batavia and the new coaster but I think Europa Park's got a very, very exciting future. I wouldn't expect the coaster until, you know, 2023, 2024, maximum 25, 26. Uh, so around those four years. But obviously we will be covering the new coaster here on the channel very, very closely. Anything confirmed about this rumoured Yoramir refurbishment? Obviously, again, we'll cover it on the channel. We've covered it before in a video and we'll cover it again. If anything pops up from that and, of course, with other new projects at Europa Park. But... For Pirates of Batavia, I'm really excited. Really, really, really excited uh, for this project. So, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now, guys, my name is Coaster Child YouTube channel. Keep living the coaster life. Let's get this channel to 2,000 subscribers. And let's let's keep going. Don't even stop at 2,000. Let's get this channel to 15,000 by the end of the year. That's the long-term goal. And for now, guys... I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Goodbye.